to be able to take that kind of pain and rage and, and, um, and all those emotions that Eric kind of uh, represents from being black and brown here in America, I was able to kind of put that you know, into a character and put it on screen. So that's something that I didn't take lightly and I kind of, I kind of, I didn't, I didn't have a process. I'm not like one of these, you know, some people are methods or people are this or that. I just did whatever I felt I needed to do or whatever I felt was right in the moment every step of the way. So it was no real plan. I didn't have a, I didn't have an escape plan either. So like every day was just going into this place and I just tried to stay there as long as I could. And then when it was all over, I think just being in that kind of, uh, that mind state, that, uh, that, that real unapologetic, you know, just, just real like, you know, whatever all the yeah. time kind of kept, it, it caught up with me and, I, and like, I, I got a little, you know, a little depressed. It was tough for me for a minute. You know, really? just uh, readjusting to being around the people that care about me, getting that love that I shut out for a long time. Like I shut out love. I didn't want love and affection. You know, I wanted to be in this lonely place as long as I could in order to kind of capture the essence of what Eric, you know, Stevens was, what Killmonger was. So when, when we wrapped the film, you know, I'm like in my mind, it's like, okay, cool, go back to, you know, regular life, get back to LA, be cool. But it was a little tough for me at first. Your mind is so powerful, your mind will get your body past a threshold that it would have gave, given up on way before. Like, you're, like, like, there were moments where physically, I probably shouldn't have continued, but my mind was like, no, we're almost to the finish line, you gotta get it past that, you gotta get past that line. But as soon as I got past that line, my body said, okay, we can shut down now. Yeah. And then that would it, it would, it would shut down after that. So I think, I think honestly, therapy, just talking to somebody was something that really helped me out a lot. And as a man, I think, you know, we get a lot of, slack for it of, you know, you know, you know, you know, I don't really talk to nobody, you know what I'm saying? That whole map, you know, what it is to be a yeah. man, being masculine, you know, that, you know, that doesn't, I don't really subscribe to that because I feel, I feel like everybody needs to unpack and talk. I, I kind of spoke into an existence, into existence actually, because I was coming off a Chronicle and um, I, had a, I talked with my agent at the time. And I told him, I said, look, I just want to do an independent film. I want to just, just find something for me to like, to show I can, I can go. You know what I mean? I, I can go with the best of them. Because in my head, you know, you got to have a confidence that you, you know, that you can, you know, I was you know, 25, you know, I was ready to, mm -hmm. I was ready to, to, you know, you start to smell yourself, you know, I'm working out a little bit, you know, I'm like, okay, I'm ready to kind of like, you know, get in my big boy pants and show mm -hmm. that I, I can, I can, I can uh, ca ca try to carry a film. And, um, you know, actors, you like say, we go on this journey from like, you know, roll to roll and try to find these moments where you can like make something out of it and make it memorable and make it something that's going to get you your next job. Mm -hmm. And, um, <clears throat> when the script kind of came along, it was like, it was perfect. What I wanted to do in my life, in my career at the time, and what Ryan wanted to do in his life, in his career at the time, just kind of seemed to like mesh and kind of fall into place. Trick yourself into believing you're doing what you're supposed to do. Like you almost have to like, you know, you know, having faith in yourself and having hope, you know, having faith, you know, that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing is one thing, but you got to believe that this is your destiny and this is what you're supposed to be doing in life, you know, if you really want it, you know, and um, yeah, that's what I had to do. You know, I always enjoy reverse engineering things. I always like seeing something like, all right, I know where I want to go. How do I get there? You know, what's, what's the creative, what? It was fun for me to find ways to get the things that I wanted. Yeah, like, um, my thing is doing the homework. That's always been my thing. If I, if, I, if I work harder than anybody else, I might not be the most talented guy, but I feel if I work harder than anybody else, they can't, you know what I'm saying? They can't, they can't take that away from me. Mm -hmm. um, that's something, that's one thing I can control. I left it all in the room. I'm walking out, hands clean. And just move on to the next thing. It's the only way I can kind of disconnect myself from the audition, from the role, and, and just forget about it and move on. I don't mind going to like hunt for my food. And I know it was, it was one point in time where I really hated it, and then I started to become more confident, and I guess small successes built up your confidence. And now, and then you don't really mind going to auditions anymore. It's just like, I'll go in and read. I, I think I always want to constantly evolve. You know, I always want to constantly grow. I never want to get to a point where I feel like I got it figured out. You know, like I, I always want to like kind of like push myself to be better, you know, and, and do and do greater things, um, no matter what it is. I mean, I want to be the best. I'm a competitor, you know. I, I like to compete, you know. Like growing up with, you know, with the name Michael Jordan, you know, I've always had a certain <laughs> pressure pressure on, on myself, and and always having to kind of like, you know, prove people wrong. And I just kind of kind of kind of like put an instant chip on my shoulder of, of wanting to just to be great, you know, and do great things. I have the the self-confidence to go out there and do it, to be perfectly honest. Um, just like representation is so important, you know, on screen, I yeah. think behind the camera also. See somebody my age that's, you know, taking the responsibility of, you know, however hundreds of millions of dollars this project is, 
you know, it, it's it's inspiring. It's letting me know that I can do that as well. And then he also, you know, pushed me and told me there's never a perfect time. So just like suck it up and just, just go ahead and do it. You nice. Know, you know what you're doing. So just to hear that, hearing that from him, definitely pushed me to wanna to wanna get get behind the camera a lot quicker. And I think as a, as a human, sometimes you feel like you always gotta wait for the right time. What makes sense to you to actually start executing, to actually start stop making excuses, to doing the things that you always really want to do. And I'm starting to find myself, you know, and I'm guilty of that. I'm starting to find myself now being like, nah, there is no right time to do anything. You just gotta start doing it. It's, it's easy to see the good stuff when it's successful, when it, when it happens the right way, you know, and like the, the, the reward, but very rarely people like really understand like the lows, you know, like the, how lonely this industry is too, you know, how much you spend, time you spend by yourself, you know what I mean? And alone, and, and you know, when, and when things get bad, you know, it's, it's it could be a, a it could be a lonely place, man, and um, you gotta be a certain type of person, I think, to kind of handle that. I was on notable shows at the time that people knew who I was, or, oh, that's the guy, I mean, did we go to school together? Or, I mean, yeah, you look familiar, like, who's that? Oh, yeah, that's the guy from The Wire, or whatever, but that type of uh, notability, you know, doesn't really translate into financial stability. <laughs> <laughs> so, What did kinda, you do? Ah, oh, man, I mean, go for broke. Yeah. I mean, you know, I was blessed enough to kind of like after I got each job, you know, that whatever that check was would last me enough to, you know, where I would doubt and hope and get nervous and be like, oh man, I got to move back to Jersey and then I would book something. Mm. And it would keep me there for a little bit longer. Like right when I was getting ready to give up, it was always something that kept me there for a little bit longer. So yeah, man, it, it was it was tough, but in my head it was like, what, like I, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. It's not just acting, it's, you, know, it's, you know, what goes into becoming an actor. People see the end result, they see the lights, they see the, you know, the premieres, they see the movies. They don't see the time that you put in by yourself. They don't see the, the lonely journey. They don't see the auditions that you go in when you hear, you know, no, you're not this, you're not that. You don't, they don't see the moments where you're sleeping in your car. They don't see the moments where, you know, you gotta go to 7-Eleven and, you know what I'm saying, you know, you know, dollar item this, dollar item that, you know what I'm saying, you don't, you know, when you gotta, go into a gas station, swipe your card, get gas, and then hurry up and go inside a convenience store and try to get, you know, some chips and, you know, a frozen pizza or whatever before it says decline because, you know, you ain't got that much money in your account. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot, like, they don't see those moments. Yeah. They don't see the, you know, the moments you stay up all night, man, you know, studying these lines, rehearsing, you know, and then you go into an audition and you don't get it again and 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 again, but somehow you still have faith and believe that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. So it's like, you know, and then, and then when you do get successful, you know, you do get some success, it's a, now you're getting ridiculed and judged, you know, by everybody. Most of the time, your own people, you know, they want to cannibalize you as much as possible. Oh, you're not this, you're not that, you're not this, you're not that, you're not doing this, you're not doing that, you know. It's tough, you know, it's tough.